This is Face Watch News, a weekly report of the most important stories that happened inside and around the Catholic Church. Face Watch News is available through faithwatch.tv, the Philippines' first Catholic online TV. I am Nico Balbidina, a resident reporter here at Faith Watch TV. I will be with you every week, keeping you informed. Faith Watch TV, your Filipino channel. This week on Faith Watch News, government told to stop the red tagging of aid organizations. Caritas Philippines launches international appeal for Mindanao Quake Rehab. Bishop tells faithful to proclaim the gospel creatively. Government urged to take action on air pollution. More than 2,000 parishes to join this year's Red Wednesday campaign. This is Nico Balbidina for Faith Watch News. Manila Auxiliary Bishop Broderick Pabilio has called on to the government to stop the red tagging of aid organizations and to instead strengthen engagements with them. The bishop said this in light of the inclusion of at least 50 aid organizations, including several church groups, in the government's list of alleged Communist Front organizations. Deploring this government move, Pabilio said that it is inherent to churches and aid groups to provide help to everyone in need, regardless of political and religious beliefs. Among those in the list are Caritas Australia, Caritas Austria, Caritas Belgium, Caritas Switzerland, and the Diocesan Social Action Center of Calibo. The National Council of Churches in the Philippines, Save the Children Foundation, Bread for the World, Oxfam International, Swedish Red Cross and the Mercy Relief were also red tagged. According to the bishop, red tagging has been the practice of the military and the police to the persons and institutions who exposes their rights abuses. Here in Manila, Caritas Philippines has launched an international appeal for earthquake-stricken areas in Mindanao. The appeal seeks to raise around 36.7 million pesos to continue providing relief aid to the victims and help fund recovery and rehabilitation efforts. Caritas Philippines said that there are at least 10,000 people displaced by the series of tremors in October. These people need to be helped and supported. It said that the needs of those affected include food, hygiene kits, sleeping kits, shelter and toilet facilities, repair kits, conditional cash vouchers, and livelihood enterprises. The assistance and rehabilitation program is projected to run from next month to December 2020. Bishop Milo Hubert Vergara of Pasig has encouraged the faithful to explore new and creative tactics to spread the gospel of the Lord. In his homily for the recently held Catholic Social Media Summit, Vergara emphasized that the church cannot be static and must be dynamic with how it communicates God's love. More than 200 participants attended the gathering held at the Lourdes School of Mandaluyong City on November 16. Now on its eighth year, the CMS was organized by Youth Pinoy, an organization of online missionaries. The initiative is also in collaboration with Areopagus Communications Incorporated and the CBCP Media Office. The Church's advocacy arm has called on the government to tackle air pollution to save more lives. In a CBCP News report, Father Edwin Garrigues, Caritas Executive Secretary, said that it is alarming that the quality of the air we breathe and our defenses against the impact of natural calamities is continuously declining. The agency made the statement on November 19 as the country marked the Clean Air Month and the National Environmental Awareness Month. In a study issued in May 2018, the World Health Organization revealed that the Philippines has the third highest number of deaths due to air pollution. Caritas Philippines has suggested that a major course of action is to fully implement the Philippine Clean Air Act. The Global Red Wednesday campaign is gaining more support in the Philippines, with now more than 2,000 parishes joining this year's observance. The figure is 25% higher than last year's 1,600 parishes that illuminated the facade of their churches in red. This to highlight the plight of persecuted Christians around the world. Jonathan Luciano, National Director of Aid to the Church in Need Philippines, said several Catholic schools are joining the event on November 27. First organized by the Papal Charity Organization in the United Kingdom in 2016, this will be the third time that the event will be held in the Philippines. 
ASEAN Philippines' main activity will be held at the Manila Cathedral with a Mass to be officiated by Bishop Pablo Virgilio David, Vice President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. Visit faithwatch.tv for the best Catholic online videos. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. This is Nico Balbidina for Faith Watch News. Faith Watch TV, your Filipino channel.